people here. Hi, my name is Chris LaFleur. Um, I work for Congress for Representative John Conyers. A couple of days ago, I read about you talking about uh, artificial intelligence and the dangers of it, uh, and how as a, uh, as a businessman, you are totally against regulation and stuff like that, but as a, you know, a human being, you think it's critical that we get ahead of this issue. Yeah. Uh, can you please elaborate on um, like why, uh, what are you seeing that we don't get to see, and uh, what, as a policymaker, I should be looking to do to sort of, I guess, protect us all? <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, um, I think it, it, it is difficult to appreciate just how far um, artificial intelligence has advanced and how far it is advancing um, because we have a double exponential at work. Uh, we have an exponential increase in hardware capability um, and we have an exponential increase um, in software talent that is going into AI. Um, so whenever you have a double exponential, it's very difficult to predict. Um, People's predictions are almost always going to be too conservative in terms of thinking it'll be further out than it is. Um, you know, you start to see things like, um, I don't know if you've seen like the, the videos where you can sort of really quite accurately video simulate uh, someone um, and put words in their mouth that they never spoke. Um, you just Google this, it's really pretty amazing. Um, and then they, they had something called a generative adversarial network, uh, had, had two of them um, compete with one another to make the most convincing video. So one would generate the video and then the other one would identify where it, it, it looked fake and, and then that, that would, the other one would fix that and then and they'd go back and forth to the point where you couldn't tell which one was the real, real video and which one was the fake one. Um, and, um, you know, obviously there have been some very public things like the defeat of AlphaGo, or, or defeat of Go by AlphaGo, the world's best Go champion. People thought defeating Go was either never or 20 years away. Mm. That was, the world's best Go player was defeated. Um, and now that same AlphaGo system can defeat the top 50 players simultaneously with 0% of chance of them winning. And that's one year later. Um, so the degrees of freedom to which artificial intelligence is able to apply itself are in, in really increasing, I think, by 10 orders of magnitude a year. It's re that's really crazy. Um, so I think, uh, and, and we're starting, and this is on hardware that is really not well suited for neural nets. Um, you know, uh, like a GPU is maybe an order of magnitude better than a CPU, but something, but a, um, a chip that is designed optimally for neural nets is an order of magnitude better than a GPU. Um, and that is, there are a whole bunch of neural net optimized chips coming out um, either late this year or next year. Um, so I think we should, I think, that, you know, the Part of the role of government is to make sure the public is uh, safe, like to take care of public safety issues. And I think, so I think the right move is to establish some government regulatory agency, which at first is just there to gain insight. So um, it's not about like shooting from the hip and just putting in rules before anyone knows anything, but you've got to set up the agency, it's got to gain insight, once that insight is gained, then start applying rules and regulations. Um, we have that for the, you know, for aircraft, the FAA, we've got that for cars, we've got that for, uh, you know, drugs, for food. Um, and I don't think anyone wants the FAA to go away or FDA to go away or, you know, um, any of those regulatory agencies. Um, I think we just need to make sure people do not cut corners on AI safety. It's going to be a real big deal, um, and it's going to come on like a like a tidal wave.